Hi, in this video I will show you how to put together the tumbler boxes with the flip top opening, um, both the medium and large tumbler versions. So in this video I'm going to show you how to put together the simple uh, tumbler flip top box, which is a new tumbler box. Instead of a lid it has a flip top, so here's an example. So what I want to do with this new box I'm going to show you, this is two different ones, I'm going to move them up. Um, what I wanted to show you with this new box is that it opens in the back, and this won't be as poofy on the final one. Um, this is the Christmas version. What I wanted to do is, these are heavy tumblers, like this is for the medium tumbler. So when we're making tumbler boxes, one of my biggest concerns are is strength. So, you know, these aren't for shipping, they're just for display or to gift, you know, a personalized tumbler. Um, and those are the insulated ones. This is made for the insulated ones. Anyways, um, I know that a lot of these tumblers, you know, the main things on the front, but the side, I wanted to have a box that you could highlight um, all the colors on the side as well, but have the structure. So we went a little bit higher. The reason this is higher on the sides is so we could have a little bit more strength down here. So, and, but we still have the front open so you can um, show uh, the actual, anything personalized in the front, depending on what you do. So that's the difference in this one. No lid, just flip top box. I have it a little bit tighter on this final one, so. So with that said, they, they go together the same, but we're just gonna do one at a time. I'll show you two different ones. So these are the pieces for the medium. So we have these panels, and I highly recommend you using the panels. Um, they strengthen the box, because a lot of people go and buy a 65 pound cardstock, which this is a craft cardstock, which is not very strong. But once we attach this, it'll become way stronger. So, um, I have it upside down, but this is craft paper. So again, it's not, it's kind of a good generic uh, look, and I just used some of my pattern paper. So we're going to put aside, this is going to be the insert. And I have slightly different colors um, for this, the inside, because it really didn't really matter. That's the back. And so you'll see that's the support and the bottom, not the back, the bottom. And then here's the lid piece and the two side pieces. So the way it's going to go is the shorter side. That's the, the part that's going to come, that's going to open. The longer one is the one we're going to glue on the actual, uh, the actual box. Just had a thought. So what I would normally, what I suggest you doing, I'm just going to go through this detail on this box and I'll put together the large one as well. But you want to go around and fold on all the score lines. And then you can go ahead and I use, I'm using Scotch Quick Dry. I do like art glitter glue too. Um, but you have to know how much glue you can use. I'm not using art glitter glue right now because I don't have a large uh, container of it. So I want it to have a pretty good flow. So I'm going to line up this edge up to the tab fold, not over. And you want to make sure that it's lined up down here. I know a lot of the people that make these boxes don't do a lot of paper crafting. So if you don't do a lot of paper crafting, and you do mostly like tumblers and that kind of thing and glasses, decorating them, it's a much different um, craft than like maybe vinyl application. It's not, it's not hard at all. It's just a matter of it's different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this other tab so I have that folded down. I'm going to glue, glue this other tab. And I purposely don't add windows. Let me just fold this over and I'll, it'll go in place. But I purposely do not add w windows or like acetate like plastic. Because as it is, most of the, the, the star of the show is usually what's in the box, not the box itself. This is really more of a utility and packaging for people. But you can make it pretty too. 
So once we have that done, you can see it's the shape of the box. And just make sure you put it on correctly so all those tabs are on the bottom and these two flaps are on the top. So before we did this, we could have put these on, but we're just going to do that now. Just got to get the right ones. So this is, there's one that goes in the front, or on the side, I mean. There's two for the side, and one with the bigger opening for the front. So I'll show you how to put one. Basically, you can see this is going to go where the little thumb thing is. But I'll go ahead and um, add one so you can see how it centers. And then I'll put the rest on it, and then we'll continue putting the box together. So this is one of a cup, you know, we have also another tumbler box out there that has a lid um, in different sizes. Mostly the ones I have right now, as of this video, were had lids. So these are the first flip top. And the medium and the large are the most common uh, insulated tumblers that people um, modify. So I just went and centered it, and you can see that there's a little, I didn't center it perfectly, but when you get it in place, you want to make sure you apply pressure. If it's off a little bit, it's not a big deal. Like I said, the, <coughs> excuse me, you can choose any paper you like. If you want to have it, let's say you're doing this during Christmas, Christmas, or just a birthday, you can do a birthday thing, or just plain. But I would recommend if to put panels on um, to make it stronger. But you could try it without and see if it's strong enough for you. So that's the side one. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of them. So we want to do it all flat so it's easier. So just make sure that you're getting it around each opening. And you could have put these on before we glued those tabs so it doesn't really matter. So let me put those on really quick. So one thing I forgot to mention, um, if you're using liquid glue, just make sure you don't get near the openings or the edges too much so you have a little wiggle room if you don't get it quite where you want it in place the first time. So just kind of eyeball it before I place it down. Then I just have a little wiggle room. So there's that last panel. You can always have like a little uh, damp paper cloth just to get any excess glue that does come around the edge. So I have a little bit down there. You can see that's the front of it. So what we're going to do, make sure you find the um, thickest part. So fold this and get the thickest part. And we're going to glue it on the inside here. And I should have done this before we actually put this together. But this is how it's going to go. You want the fold to kind of match up to the... You don't want to go under, but right up to it. I didn't want to see it, so I just... We could have put it over that, and then... But the um, panel wouldn't have um, hid that. So we're going to fold it like that. I'm going to add little glue. I'm going to be careful not getting too much glue next to the fold. And when I do the, the large tumbler, I'll put it on before I even glue these tabs. So we'll do that a little bit different. Just to show you that there's other ways to do it. If you want to do that, to fold those out of the way, that'll help too. I'm right-handed, but the camera's on my left. So I'm just trying to get it in view. So let me tell you an easier way here. Let's do this. See, I just sl slid it in. So I'm just kind of making the judge adjustments before I... So this edge right here is right up to the fold. It, I would have kept it attached, but it would have been too big for a mat. So we have to do it in pieces. So now you can fold that in. It's a basic box. It 
There we go. So there's a little thumb thing in the back to open it. We'll still have to go through there. That's why that's there. So we can do that. Let's go ahead and take these pieces right here. And we're going to do the bottom. So to make it extra strong, we're going to go ahead and put one on the... Let me show you here. It's going to seem harder than it it is actually. We're going to put it underneath, inside, and um, we're going to glue it on the inside. So the way we want to do that is to, we can just go ahead and anchor it, and it goes much quicker once you make one. It really isn't as hard as it seems. The bottle's a little bit low. So if we put one, the reason we're putting them on the bottom, the tabs on the bottom, is to, you can see that, I'm just lining this edge up up to the fold. I'm going to pick it up in a minute to show you. So it's like that, but the reason I'm wrapping them down underneath is to give it additional strength. And make sure you get it centered. I don't have mine centered. See how it's like that? And then we'll go ahead and just carefully slide it in. Add glue to these. So if you just want to add it to the bottom, you can. It's just a matter of this is strength. To put the tabs underneath gives it additional strength. Again, we could we could attach those flaps before, but we're limited by mat size for um, cutting machines. Not, and it's hard to find like larger than 12 by 12 paper. So we're just going to flip those inside and then lift through. This is what, where it's beneficial not to put any windows in. If you couldn't, for some reason you want to put windows in, you can reach through this because you'd want to put them on before you assemble. Um, and I don't have the file for that. I'm just letting you know some people do put those in there. You could always reach down and tool and apply pressure, but applying pressure down is easier than, than doing it the other way, just doing it in the air like that. Just gonna flip that in really quick. Then we can just get this bottom piece to cover those. So that's all that's doing. So if you want to continue watching the next one, I'll do it slightly different to give you options. So I'll add the uh, panels before I assemble it, but I'll do that at the very beginning. So I will do that off camera, um, adding the panels. So we're just flipping it over, adding the additional pressure. So it's a simple box. But again, I like to go a little slower on these because I know some people's first time they're actually making a box. Um, I've had that feedback a lot from the Tumblr folks. So then, now we have this. So this is, like I said, intended for a special size, and I call it a medium tumbler, but it's a 20 ounce tumbler. Typically people, um, insulated ones. So these are for the insulated ones. Just read the, the product description. So I just fold them down. There's no point to do any kind of gluing because all this is doing is holding the bottom in place. So all I do is fold it in and it, it's actually smaller than the box. So we're just going to get it in and then gently push it down. So just gently push it out. Once you get to the opening, it's much easier because we can go from multiple windows. I'm going to come down here. So that's purely function. You don't even have to use that if you don't want to. So that's it. Let me get that out because it was taken away. So this, that's the medium size. 
So basically you put the cup in there and then the tumbler and just close it like this. So like I said, you could use any paper. So let's go ahead and make the large one now. So this time we're going to assemble it different. So sometimes doing it here, I forgot to fold this. Sometimes doing it um, a little bit differently does make a difference. And I think you'll find, some will find this much easier. So for this time, um, we're going to attach one of the bottom piece and the top, the lid, before we um, fold it over and glue it together. So to do this, so you want to do it on the inside. So you want to glue that on the inside. Let me just flip that over. Make sure we glue it in the right place. So find the, the place with the big window. So the biggest window. And it has a flat edge on the top. So we're going to go ahead and glue this on the inside. I'm going to fold this over, give, give it a really good crease. So I can see it, see the fold. <clears throat> then we're going to go ahead and line this up. So I can see it this way. And I want to make sure that it fits in this section. So lined up best you can. And then I like to just fold it up. Just kind of push it in, make sure that this edge is as close as it can be in the fold as possible. So that's attached. So as you recall in the first one, um, once we get that glued on the inside, we'll have another panel to put on the outside. So we'll do the same for the lid. So let me get a little bit blurry there for a minute there. So we want to glue the larger piece. So this, this is the part that opens and closes. And this is the larger piece. This poor pattern is making my uh, my camera go a little blurry. So we're going to glue it on the inside. So this is way easier. Sorry about that if you watch the first one. Put a little note. So we're going to go ahead and line that up. Make sure it's on the inside and line that edge up to the tab fold. You want to make sure that's good and glued on before you because that's going to get a little pressure opening and closing. So that way we don't have to do it once it's glued together. So now we can go ahead and just glue together these pieces. You'll notice um, I am using slightly different paper. It's a little bit heavier and it's textured. I believe this is coordinations, which is because uh, you do need 12 by 12 for this particular large box. It's just too large for butter size. So try to get glue up to the edges as much as you can, else it'll pull away up at the top and bottom edges which I'm not even sure if I did, so let's go ahead and double check. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and see how that just goes right up to the opening there. We'll do the other side. If you do like my tumbler boxes and any of my other um, items or this one, um, a like on the video would be uh, appreciated and or you can subscribe to our channel. I do try to do some packaging boxes here and there but I do do a wide variety and it's only, it's only me so it, it takes uh, it's not like it's a huge company. So I just want to make sure that these edges don't pull apart. I didn't note that on the first box. And then you'll see We'll just go ahead and fold this top in. Just want to get it a good angle here. 
and then we'll add glue to these tabs and um, glue it down. So I'm not going to be able to show you. Basically we're just adding them to these tabs on the inside and then we'll add that bottom piece. To, uh, to make it a little bit stronger because you know the this is for the 30 ounce insulated cup the most popular one the Ozark and the Yeti little fit um, I'm going to fold those over just like we did on the medium just going to reach in and apply pressure making sure I can just kind of push on the sides make sure it gets into place But we want to get some good strength down there because it's a heavy um, insulated tumbler. We have those windows to show off your creations. And then we'll just go ahead and put that on the bottom. And put the insert in. So the same thing as the other one. Insert just folds in like that. And then it's slightly smaller than the opening. So you can slide it in and then slide it down. So that'll finish that box off. So here are both the boxes, the medium one and the large one. Like I said, you have those open sides now that you can show off the cup a little bit more um, for your personalized uh, tumblers. And uh, now it's just a flip top for this version. And it has the strength on the bottom and the inserts. So again, those are optional. So I hope uh, some find this useful. Like I said, give me a like below if you like our projects. Um, and I thank you so much for watching.